Welcome back to another little bit of Lisp. This time we're going to be looking at arrays um, with fill pointers, which is an interesting concept that is available in common Lisp. So I've set up a few things already. I've got this array that I've made here and shoved in this global variable. Um, and we can see that it's got five elements. And I've set this fill pointer to zero. We're not sure what that means yet, but we'll get to it. But when we print out the array, we can see that it looks empty, even though the inspector is telling us it does have five elements and here they are. So what's going on? The fill pointer specifies the active area of an array, and this fill pointer can be moved around by certain functions. The, one of the ones we can actually use is one called vector push. So we're going to push 0 onto a0, and we're going to see what happens. Let's look at a0 again. OK, now 0 is in there. Let's push another number in, 1. Right, so now we've got 0 and 1 are there. Let's check the inspector. We can see that 0 and 1, um, our, our array is still um, only length 5. We have now populated two of the thing, the two of the elements in the array, and our fill pointer is now two. So two elements are active um, in our terminology that we're using here. Let's keep pushing things. So let's push 20, let's push 30. Let's check the inspector. Where are we? Okay, we've got one left. Push 40. All's good so far. Notice how each time we've been doing a vector push, it's been returning the index where that thing has been pushed to. Um, We'll look at a0 one last time. We can see that it now has all of its values there. What happens if we were to push another one? What happens is it just returns nil, and that value is not in the in the vector, in the array. It has not got any larger. Vector push just pushes that fill pointer along and puts the values in as it goes. So what we could do now is we could set the fill pointer another way. We're going to do set f fill pointer of a0 to be 2. Now let's check out what happens. All of the data is still in that array, but if we look at a0, then the only active elements are 0 and 1. Now this is a very important point to be aware of if you start storing objects in these arrays. Uh, with the fill pointers. Just because you move that fill pointer back doesn't mean that the array is not still holding the reference to the object. If you're expecting it to get garbage collected, you need to clear that slot out. So you might want to put a nil there and then move back your fill pointer. It's a detail, but it one, one that has caught me out in the past and it might catch you, so it's definitely worth looking at. Let's push one more thing. Let's push six onto A0, and now in the inspector we can see that this slot here, index 2, has the value 6. And if we look at a0, we can see it's 0, 1, 6. So back to push, incre increments the fill pointer and puts the value in that newly active slot or element position. Um, this is really the basics that you need to know for fill pointers. It can seem kind of limiting that this can't extend, like when you run out of slots that you can't go any further. This has its uses, but it's often combined with adjustable, which we saw in another video. And um, I think I'll save that for another video too. So thanks for stopping by and I'll see you in another little bit of a list.